little lovely, beautiful, perfect, stunning human beings. How are you doing? Is it well? Are you doing good? Nice. How have we been? How's life treating us these days? I hope you guys are all doing well. You're looking great. If we have not met before, nice to meet you. My name is Paige Leal. You may know me from TikTok. If you're not doing so already, feel free to check out my TikTok at Paige Leal. And while you're at it, you can follow my Instagram with the same name. I am autistic. And so over here, we talk about autism and stuff. And we have a pretty good time, if I do say so myself. If we have already met and we are already friends, then I just want to say I love you. Thanks for hanging out with me uh, once again super cool that you want to do that and i like having you awesome exciting news today dudes i saw this and i pooped my pants nothing is more correct or makes more sense than this it's been a long time coming you know what we are overdue and hold on let me tell you let me show you this guys you remember thomas the tank engine and most of us are old we're, we're probably old watching this thomas the tank engine has a tv show going on right now called thomas and friends all engines go Pretty sure I liked it when I was a kid, haven't seen it in a while, and they have uh, changed animation design, so uh, we don't have to look at those weird, creepy faces anymore. Very whimsical and pretty and upbeat, just like a kid's TV show would be. Dude, I am so excited and so pleased and so happy to tell you guys, if this is the first time that you were hearing this, Mattel has introduced an autistic character on Thomas and Friends. His name is Bruno. He's the brake car. We are going to talk about Bruno. This is how Mattel has described Bruno as a character. Bruno is a joyful pun making brake car. He is great at his job and keeps big heavy cargo steady with his strong brakes, a vital role in Thomas Thomas and friends, all engines go. Bruno rolls in reverse at the end of the train, which gives him a unique perspective on the world. Detail-oriented Bruno enjoys schedules, routine, and knows where all the tracks lead on Sodor. I've never seen this show. Sodor? I don't like the name of the town. Bruno has stairs and a lantern on his bright red exterior that indicate his emotional state moving when he is excited or cautious. Bruno's best day is one spent with his friends who love and respect him for who he is, just as he loves them best. Through his on-screen presence, Bruno's rich friendships and important work introduces audiences to a positive, neurodivergent role model. Together with key partners, Mattel carefully curated Bruno's character to ensure an accurate fictional representation of an autistic child in the real world. Bruno's character includes a lantern to indicate his emotional state and ear defenders that puff steam if he feels sensitive to loud noises. One thing that Bruno and I have in common is we don't like loud noises. However, I have a weird sensitivity to things being on or near my head. I hate it. I don't know why. So I use Loop earplugs. And I just want to say thank you so much, Loop, to sponsoring today's video. And I need to tell you guys more about it because these are my favorite things. A lot of earplugs distort voices and sounds. However, with Loop earplugs, they are designed to replicate the natural natural shape of your ear and how sound originally sounds to you, you'll get the same sound just reduced to your level. And what's your level? Well, you've got a couple different options. Loop is releasing their Elements Edition palette, which comes in four bold colors. In Experience, which lowers your volume by 18 decibels without muffling. I've got mine here in Cobalt. These are great if you want to also experience what's going on and not be completely out of something. And then there's Quiet, which reduces noise by 27 decibels. These are the ones that I wear to a concert, in a busy restaurant, and trip to the grocery store. They're also softer, and so they're perfect for sleeping. Other earplugs are fine, but they don't fit, they distort sound, and they're single use. You just throw them out after. Guys, make sure you go and click the link down below in the description if you want to get your hands on a limited edition color from Loop earplugs. Big thank you to Loop for sponsoring today's video. And now, guys, we will get on to the rest of the video talking about my lovely friend Bruno. No, no, no. Now, this got me super pumped and excited. Do you guys know how many autistic people like trains? I know it's a joke and it's a meme, but it's it's kind of true. Trains are pretty dope. Trains are uh really cool. You know how many autistic people watch Thomas the Tank Engine and Thomas and Friends because they like trains? Probably a, a bunch. If y'all are anything like me, you might have seen this news or heard it just now. You might have wondered to yourself, what? okay, how how does how does he work? Is it gonna is it gonna be okay? Is it gonna be good? Well, first of all, folks, I'm pleased to tell you that they actually partnered with multiple autism organizations that are are not the bad ones. I mean, organizations in general, uh, capitalism, uh, but these ones, it's not Autism Speaks, okay? They didn't partner with Autism Speaks. With Variety, Mattel Television said that they collaborated with organizations including Autism Self-Advocacy Network, or ASAN, ASAN, whatever, and Easter Seals Southern California, as well as Rice
writers and autism advocates Daniel Sherstrom and Aaron Likens. That is not the entire extensive list of everyone that they partnered with. If I can find more, I will let you know. But judging by the sound of that, that makes me feel really good. I think it's really important for an autistic character in the media to be portrayed as accurately as possible. Of course, there's no autistic character that is going to fully encompass every autistic being as we are all quite different. And the first thing that I know that I look for when someone says that they're making an autistic character is I want to know if the person playing that character is autistic. I've talked about it previously on this channel. I will link you the Sia movie with music. Uh, talked about it a lot there. No one who's not autistic is going to be better at being an autistic character than an autistic person. There's just, that's just, that's just not true. And someone who's not autistic being an autistic character is more of a mockery, you know? Don't pretend to be disabled. Just hire a disabled person. Wouldn't you know, guys? You know what they took? They took it, they took it, and they said, okay, let me introduce you to Chuck Smith. What a gem of a child, okay? Chuck Smith, autistic. Yeah, boys! Oh, I love to hear it. Now that is really what we need. That's beautiful. There's lots of reasons to include autistic characters in TV shows or in media in general, but the first one being that we exist in real life, just as everyone else does, and deserve to be, uh, you know, shown that. So people who aren't autistic can learn about autistic people. And something that I think that Thomas and Friends is really trying to do here, and I think that they are uh, doing it well, with Bruno as a character being a very friendly, joyful, fun, happy guy around his buddies. To me, it alludes to the theme of including autistic people, which in little kids I think is going to be great for friends, for little kids understanding each other, and autistic little kids being able to be themselves and people understand. And how can that be the goal of your character, the goal of your program, if you don't actually include autistic people. Mattel did not mess around. They said, no worries, autistic character. We're gonna figure out for real, for real, how we can do this the best. And then because we don't know, we're gonna hire an autistic kid to voice them. Cause that makes sense, right dude? Chuck Smith is like, yeah boy. Anyway, again with Variety, Chuck Scothin, who's Mattel's global head of infant and preschool, which is literally adorable, said Thomas has been a beloved franchise for over 75 years. Holy freaking crap. My grandfather is 76 and he has dementia and that's nuts to know that he could have watched this. Anyway, we know it has a special affinity with families that have children with all autism and we felt it was really critical to make sure that all children can see themselves reflected in the Thomas and Friends series. Hell mall fucking yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Absolutely. 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 The advocate that I talked about earlier, Daniel Sherstrom. So they said, positive representation is so important and characters like Bruno can change this in two ways. Number one, they'll show autistic kids that they have the right to exist mm. and that their challenges are legitimate, their strengths are real, and they are just as valuable to their families and communities as anyone else. <sighs> We're getting better guys. We're getting better. <sighs> Sorry, it continues. At the same time, neurotypical kids and families will gain new insight into their autistic friends and family as Bruno challenges their preconceptions and gives them ideas for ways they can genuinely help people to live their best possible lives. Beautiful, perfect, stunning, exactly. Oftentimes when an autistic character becomes prevalent in something, people will say that they're including the autistic character for a lot of inspirational reasons. It's quite frequently that autistic characters are used as an autistic artistic character, a thing. They fill a role. They don't get to be a person. It's all about, I'm autistic. A lot of the times I'm, I'm the comedy. Everyone laughs at me because I do funky things. Just for the simple fact that it's important that autistic kids know that they exist and we see them. It's not about autistic kids being the best basketball star or defeating all the odds. Or It's just about you're autistic and you're here here you go, boop boop. I love that so, so much, so much. So one thing that I have noticed is that Chuck Smith is not the voice of the character in the UK. That is voiced by a boy named Elliot Garcia, who is nine years old and nowhere have I seen anywhere that they say he's autistic. And I think if he was, they would say that. And there is a lot about Elliot being really happy and excited about the role and very happy about autism representation. And so I think it's safe to assume that Elliot is not autistic, which I just want fully disclaim not his fault for doing this he's nine years old so just want to make sure that everyone knows that that's my opinion on that would you guys like to see would you like to see bruno and his and his pals bruno and friends thomas and thomas and friends and bruno shake rattle and bruno shake rattle and bruno what an opening episode title it's hopeless bruno i was going too fast and i'll never make it to the lighthouse on time 
diesel. <laughs> you know why sometimes I lose my train of thought? Because I get on the wrong <laughs> track. Get it? I'm part of a train. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute. His voice is so freaking cute. Did you know that this is what it is? You're so cute. Okay. That's funny, Bruno, but I'm not in the mood for jokes right now. Well, the lines are nearly clear for today. Percy finishing mail delivery, of course, and... I don't really want to talk about the schedule, either. Uh, oh, okay. I think that you're feeling sad. And I like to talk about the schedule when I'm feeling sad. So, I don't know what to do. Oh my god. That was a really lovely depiction of an autistic child trying to comfort their friend. Man, so far enjoying what I saw, even though it was only a minute of it. I will, of course, link this down below so you guys can go watch it yourself. This is awesome, and I want to commend Mattel for putting in the work to make an awesome autistic character. I'm very excited to see where this goes. I feel like this is a pretty big move for children's programming. Small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. What do you guys think about Bruno the Brake Car? I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you watch the show anyone in uk let me know how it's like what do you think and if any of you guys have kids how do your kids react or feel to seeing the show seeing the autistic brake car anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna zoot it out of here now it was great to see you diarrhea as always hey if you like me or this video or anything that i do you could um uh, like down below because that is a, a free way that you can help me out it's completely free for you to do and you could even hit the subscribe button because if you subscribe a bunch of people anyway you're not even gonna know if you also subscribe to me. I love you. Thank you for the support. You're the best. And um, bye. This is the end of the video song. This video is to tell you the video's done. If you're hearing this, it's because the video's done. Go watch another one. Boop, boop. Have a good day. Love you so much. Bye.